Hey, Key. How do you take a dump? What the? Why? Well, I, I take a dump like everybody else. I squat and... <laughs> I know. What, what do you mean, how do you take a dump in an RV? It's a very interesting question, actually. That is a... That's a very interesting question because I think a lot of people might not know this, but an RV toilet, I do have a toilet in my RV. It's not the same as your toilet in your house. Um, I mean, basically the main difference is the RV toilet is basically a toilet. It's got a hole in the bottom that goes to a plastic container underneath the RV it's called the black tank. And you have, you know, different size of RV have different size of tank. Mine is kind of small because it's older RV. Uh, but it has a, a limit, you know, 20 gallons, 40 gallons, certain gallons. But anyway, so because of that, you don't have unlimited flushing. Uh, you know, if you live in a house or apartment, when you push that flush, I mean, guys know how many gallons of water gets to that? I'm thinking maybe three, four, five gallons. That's a lot of water, right? Uh, if you do that in an RV, I mean, you'd be, that tank get filled up in like, three dumps or four dumps so what do people do well there are certain things that only rv people would understand that they do one of the things is called toilet paper cross <laughs> and that's very interesting uh when you uh before you do your number two you get a couple uh, uh slices of the toilet paper and you lay it on the toilet so it's called a cross because you lay one uh, strip the toilet paper from front to back, and then you want one, one strip the toilet paper from left to right. Uh, I do the double cross. So I do one strip the toilet paper from front to back, and then I do two strips of toilet paper from left to right. And the reason you do this, okay, this is going to get a little bit gross here. So if you're having breakfast, uh, maybe you want to skip this this part of the video. So reason you do that is you don't want your poop emojis to stick to your toilet. Because since you're not super flushing the damn thing, if it sticks to the toilet, you gotta now you gotta do a toilet cleaning basically with your hand or whatever. And that's gonna take more time and it's gonna it's disgusting and it's gonna take more water. So you do that basically to create a, a, a something in between the toilet and your poop emojis. So what happens is you do your number two, and then you fill the, the toilet up halfway. I fill it about half or three fourths of the way up, and then you push this lever and it opens up that hole, and you let gravity do its thing, and hopefully it sucks it all down in a nice smooth motion, and there's no poop emoji stuck on the toilet. And that's it. I mean, if there's a mo poop emoji on the toilet, now you gotta like wipe it down a little bit, put a little water on it, and then open the open the lever again and let gravity do its thing. And the whole goal is to limit how much water you use because that's very important. And I actually don't use, even though my uh, toilet has a, a, a water thing that is part of the flushing, I don't use that water because that comes out of your fresh water tank in your RV. I actually have six gallons of water set aside just for flushing the toilet and it's sitting right there. And I use that and I pour it in and, and do that. But again, and another thing is I don't do number ones in the toilet. I mean, your, your, your goal is to ensure that as you can sustain as long as possible between dump station runs. I mean, if you want to run a dump station every week, you know, yeah, you can be a little bit more lenient. I, I can go for four or five weeks between dumps because I don't do number ones. Okay, I go outside and do number ones. Or at nighttime, I, I have a, a, a one-gallon jug that I cut a hole in, I put it in the toilet, and I do number ones in that. And in the morning, I rinse it out outside. So that's basically it. That's, that's how uh, toilets work in an RV. And yeah. Hope that helps. Have a great uh, have a great day and have a great breakfast. <laughs> Take care.